Yo, 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 what's up here, you guys? It is your boy Jamie, or Temp Jamie, or Jamie Temp, or X Jamie, Jamie Hodgins, however you may know me, but I am back with another Sony Vegas tutorial, basic editing tutorials. Okay, so what we're going to go, oh, and by the way, if you guys do like these thumbnails that have been being posted, definitely check out um, Brian Cinema's channel. He usually does them for free, so if you did need somebody to do like your thumbnail for you, he definitely just give him a shout out and he'll probably hook you up. Um, so what you're going to do is open up your Vegas, right click, and by the way, if you guys didn't know what we're doing, if you haven't checked the title, which I doubt you guys wouldn't be here if you didn't check the title, we are doing how to do a nasty screen pump. Okay, so you're going to go in, open up your clip, drag that in, first thing you're going to do to your clip, Right click on your, or left click on your clip, then right click on your clip, and then check, uncheck maintain aspect ratio, and then uncheck, or check disable resample. And what that does is make your clip smoother, which I've already talked about before. So you're gonna go click, to, uh, to leave this track here, and then to cut out your audio, you're gonna click on your audio, click U, and what that does is it selects it. So like if I was like right here, you click U, and then you click U, and then you just click cut and that's how you cut your audio out. So what you're going to do is just click on your audio, then click the button U and then right click on your audio and then cut it out. Okay. And then we're going to add in our song. This will be, try to be a quick tutorial because screen pumping is just however you want it. If you're doing a hardcore edit, it's a little bit different. Every flow will be different. That's just something I can say. Every flow will be different. So what you're going to do is go ahead and we'll leave the entire clip there. Cut however you want your clip to be. Okay, so let me go ahead and cut this audio out right here. Drag that in, drag that in. Okay, so you can see by these little being like little, sorry about that, guys. This little line right here, line right here, line right here, line right here, line right here. Those are like all the, uh, the beats. So you're going to want to sync those by clicking M on every single beat. So every beat you have, so if you're using a different song, you're definitely going to try to find yours. Um, you're going to hit the beats. I'm just going to do them as close as possible just to show you guys how to do the effect. Um, right here. Uh, let me listen to this. Okay. Right here. Definitely right here. Right here. Right here. And one right here. We're going to put the uh, shot right here where he shoots. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get to the... I'm just going to go ahead and cut out the kill cam for you guys. Yeah, right about there. Get rid of that. Don't need that. I'm going to stretch the clip just to make it fit. You guys can do however you want your clip to be. And then I'm going to... Actually, yeah, I'm going to split where the shot was. Because you want to zoom in on the uh, shot where he shoots at. Because you want that to be where the biggest base drop or the drop is. If that makes any sense. So you'll do right here. And then just sync that in. And then you add your DSR audio for your sniper to be shot right here. So what you're going to do. Is drag that out. Okay, so what you're going to do is go to your first marker. By the way, if you don't know how to make a marker, you click M. So click M on every single beat part that you have. Okay, so what you're going to do is click on the marker that you want it to start at. You're going to click, you're going to right click on the video clip. Go to video, event, and pan crop. Okay, so you're going to stay in here for a while. So, let me go ahead and fully screen this. You don't need to see anything else. So you're going to stay in here for a while. Um, have it stretched to about right there. Um, so, these are called keyframes. Um, this is like your little timeline for the video, but in video pan crop. Um, so what you're going to do is right before the beat, you're going to use like this little circle and then like wherever you want to move it to, you can. And then the, right on the beat, you're going to want to zoom it in. So what you're going to do is click this top right corner. By the way, make sure both these are clicked. Make sure they're highlighted blue and then make sure this is clicked because that syncs up to your video to that. Um, so you're going to want to zoom that in just a little bit, however, however much you want. And then you're going to go all the way to pretty much the audio fades out. And then you're going to click right click on this and then click restore. That's literally it. And you're just going to pretty much keep doing that 
for the entire thing. And then I'm going to go back through the process just to show you guys one more time. And so you're going to go back to one keyframe right before the marker. You're going to move this little dot to wherever. And what that does is that adds a keyframe without messing with this. And then you're going to go to the key one more keyframe over back to where you were on your marker. And then that's where you're going to zoom in because that's when the beat like hits. And then you're going to go pretty much to the audio phase out or have, however long you want it until it starts to fade out. And then you can click restore. We're going to do it one more time just to show you guys. You're going to go to your marker, go one keyframe back. To go back to the keyframe, you're going to click this little um, arrow. You're going to move the dot just a little bit over. And what that does is that adds a keyframe. It does not really affect the video at all. What it does is add a keyframe, go back to one keyframe ahead, and then zoom it in however much you want. You can turn it or whatever you want. And then pretty much go to where the audio fades out or ever how long you want it till it fades out. And then click restore. And what that does is, is if it's a slow song, this really helps out because it makes it fade out a lot slower. And it goes with the like the reminiscing beat. Okay, and then as well, the reason why I say to add this little keyframe in before the way you move the dot is because if you didn't, without having a keyframe, it would literally take the clip to go all the way. It would uh, make it restore to go out slowly, slower. And then when you're going back in, it would just make the clip go back in. So make sure you just do that little thing. I mean, it doesn't take long. So if you wanted to do it your own way, do it your own way. But if you guys really want to do uh, good screen pumps, this is how you do them. Um, sometimes restoring it to where you can go out like a lot quicker. Like when you, uh, restore back in quicker, you could go right here to make it quicker if it's a quicker song. Um, but pretty much on a slow song, like the pumped up kick song, uh, the remix I used, you just want to do like a slower, a slower effect until you get to where like the bass drop starts going a lot quicker and picks up. So if you did not see that, well, just replay the video, um, and just check it out again. By the way, all links will be in the description. Um, I will have the pre-cracked Sony Vegas link in the description as well. I hope you guys like the video. Comment if you have any errors, and I will try to get back to you as possible. Peace.